Hello, my name is Mark Pimentel. I'm a CAM application specialist here at Hawker Systems. And in this video, we'll be talking about CAMWorks shop floor. So CAMWorks shop floor is a viewer file that you can send down to your operators on the shop floor that allows them to take a look at the CAM data, the 3D model, simulations of the toolpaths, pretty much everything that they would need to know about the part file without having to have their own copy of CAMWorks. This is a paperless way or an industry 4.0 way of conveying information from the office down to the shop floor. So let's see how that works. So you can see inside of my part file here, I've already programmed the part. And in my CAMWorks tab, I'm just going to click on Publish Shop Floor. In the Publish Shop Floor menu, I can tell it where I'd like to save the shop floor file. If I've posted any G code, I can include that by checking that box. If I've created any setup sheets, I can include that by checking that box. In addition to the CAM data, the G code file, and the setup sheets, I can also add additional files. All I have to do is click on the plus sign, and then I can add files just by browsing to them. So in this case, I'm just going to add the print of this file. I've created a PDF of a very quick drawing here. I didn't put any dimensions on it, but just as an example, this is an additional file. So any file that you'd like to add, whether it represents a new tool, a new vice, or just a data sheet that you need to include for the purposes of the uh, operator's information, you can add it to the file, either as an actual copy of that file, meaning that if there is no network connection, they still have access to that file, or you can set it as a reference, meaning that there's a link to that file's location on your network. And then in the description, I can just put in whatever information I want about this file. So now that that's been added, I will click on Publish. And now that the file has been created, I'll just close out of the publisher. And your programmer has sent down the shop floor. Now on the same computer, you will not have the Cam, CamWorks software and the CamWorks shop floor. The CamWorks shop floor is intended for the operator side. So let me just minimize my CamWorks here. And we'll open up CamWorks shop floor and we can see at the resultant file. So in this case, if we take a look at the shop floor file, I have access to all the operations and you can see the wireframe of each one. If I wanted to do a step through of each op operation, I could do that here with the same controls you would have inside of CamWorks. If I wanted to do a simulation, same thing. I have all the same controls for simulation as I do inside CamWorks, even to the point that I get collision warnings. If G code was posted with this file, I can open up the G code file in the CamWorks NC editor. So I can see that here. And if there were any setup sheets, I can click on that and open up those setup sheets as well. If we take, take a look at the tool tab, the tools used in the operations, I can take a look at the dimensions of those as well. So similar views as you would have in CamWorks. I can't make any edits here. This tool is currently in use. I cannot make any changes here, but I can view the stick out of the holder. I can see the dimensions of the tool. And then lastly, in the documents manager uh, tab, I can see the SOLIDWORKS file, I can see where it's located on my network, the G code file, the setup sheet files, and of course, that additional file that I added here, the PDF. In the lower left menu here, if I go to components, this just shows me which components are part of the incoming data file. In this case, this originated as a SOLIDWORKS part file, so I really only have the one part file that I can control the visual of. But if I had programmed the part in assembly mode, then I would see all the components of that assembly here, and I can hide and show those individual components. In the annotation section, if any annotations or dimensions were added to the original SOLIDWORKS part, they would appear on the screen as well. And then under attributes, if there were any custom properties added to the SOLIDWORKS file, I would see those listed here as well. Not only can you simulate the operations, but if we go to the measure tab, I can take measurements off the solid model as well. So in this case, I had added the print, but if there was any need to actually take any dimensions off the model, the operator has that ability. So if I do something like click on measure, and I grab that edge right there, I can see the dimensions of that portion right there. If I do a face-to-face, -face, I can grab that face right there, grab that face right there, 
and I can get the distance between those two faces. So measurements are possible inside the shop floor as well for that level of information. Now, of course, you could also add prints as well. You can add additional information that already has this included, but full analysis and simulation capabilities are included in the CAM workshop floor. Let's say there's a scenario where the operator has opened up the G-code file and they would like to make a change. Well, you'll notice that this G-code file that was included in the CAM workshop floor is in read-only. Basically, all that needs to be done is save the file. So I'm just going to save the file to my desktop. And we'll save this one as edited. And now that I have a writable version of the file, I'm just going to add some code in here. I'm just going to add a comment. Now that I've modified the G code, if I'd like to send that back to the office, the operator using the CAM workshop floor has the ability to add files as well. So within CAM workshop floor, I'll just click add, go to my desktop, I'll click on the edited version that has my comment, and now that is part of the CAM workshop floor. Once I close this file, save it back to the network location, the CAM programmer can see the CAM workshop floor and see the, the additional file that's been added there. If you have any questions on this or anything else, give us a call at the number provided on our website and stay tuned for the other videos on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.